Okay, so while our specialty grains are soaking over there for 30 minutes at 150 degrees, it's a perfect time to start getting our malt extract ready so it's easier to work with once we're ready to add it to our boil. So first things, you know, if you have the canned liquid malt extract like this, what you want to do is peel off these labels, you know, it's just like a can of soup. Get rid of these labels and then fill up your sink with some warm water, you know, about 120 degrees if you can, and soak the entire cans, submerge them, soak them in there, um, you know, until it's ready to put into the boil. What that does is warms up the liquid in here, it gets it, you know, it makes it easier to work with, makes it less viscous, and a lot easier to add to our boil. So that's what we're going to do uh, the whole time our specialty grains are soaking. Okay, so we've got our specialty grains soaking for 30 minutes. We've got our malt extract soaking in the sink, you know, to kind of warm it up and just get it less viscous, easier to work with. So a good time right now is to go ahead and prep our hops. So pretty simple recipe. We're just using two different types of hops. We're going to use the Haller Tows to give it the bittering flavor, and then we're going to use the Saz hops at the end to give it some spice and some aroma. So again, we can go ahead and zoom in here and take a look. What we're going to do is you know, just open the hops, they come sealed up. So we'll start with our Haller Tower, which are our bittering hops, which means we're going to put them in at 60 minutes. Or they're going to be in the pot for the whole 60 minute boil. So this is one ounce, they come in one ounce packages, and that's exactly what we want to work with here. So we're just going to pour the entire ounce into our hot bag. And we just tie it in a knot. You want to leave some space in here so the hops can expand and kind of float around in there in the boil. Tie a nice good knot. That's good to go. And I wish this had smell of vision because this smells so good. And our second hop we're going to use are the Saz hops. Now we're going to use these really just to try to extract some of the aroma. You know, not so much for the bitterness. To get a bitterness out of the bitterness out of hops, you need it to be in there for a longer period of time. But if you add hops at the last 30, 15, 5 minutes, you get a lot more of just the smell, a little bit of the spice, and that's what we want to do with the sauce. We don't want a whole ounce though, so what we're going to do is we just want to use a half ounce. So we're going to add it here to our scale here, and that's a half ounce. And then we're going to get a different hot bag. And we need to make sure we keep these separate. And there we go, that's our half ounce of finishing hops or aroma hops. Tie it up with some slack, and that's good to go. So we just need to, you know, keep these in order, and you know, make sure. What I always do is I just put the put them in order closest to the to the boil pot. Um, so this will be our bittering. This goes in as soon as our water starts to boil, and this will go in with. I'll put this in with probably about 20 minutes left in the boil. That way we'll get a little bit of flavor out of there, but mostly just the aroma, the nose of it. So, okay, we'll check back when our specialty grains are ready to come out.